So what I'd like to talk about now is the flush trimmer and we'll go into a little bit of detail on the operation of the flush trimmer and then we'll go into troubleshooting and fixing it if we've determined that that's the problem. So at this point I'd just like to point out the support that is attached to our panel feeder that raises and lowers the upper flush trimmer. So as we go to set the panel feeder and I run it to the height that I want, it's going to move the upper flush trimmer in relationship to the panel feeder. So we're now looking at the back side of the flush trimmer, and these are our dial indicators for the lower and the upper flush trimmer here. So these are set accordingly to the thickness of the edge banding tape. And as you make your adjustment, one direction or the other, it's just moving that flush trimmer horizontally, either forward or backward. So we're going to talk about making adjustments for the flush trimmer, but prior to making those adjustments, we verified that we don't have an issue upstream, whether it would be where our edge banding tape is coming out in relationship to our board, that we have proper alignment there. If that's not the issue, then we can look at making an adjustment at the flush trimmer itself. So as the board comes through the upper and the lower flush trimmer, the tracers come into contact with the board and the upper flush trimmer then moves in the upward direction in relationship to the board. So if we decided that our edge banding needs a little more trim off the top edge and the bottom edge is fine, then we would make the adjustment to the top tracer. If it's the problem with the bottom, we'd make the adjustment with the bottom and or make adjustment to both. So for this example, we're going to say that the top edge is actually higher than the bottom edge. We'll say that the bottom edge is actually flush, meaning that we would not have to make any adjustment for the bottom trimmer. So in order to make an adjustment for the top trimmer, we'll want to break these two lock nuts loose right here on either side of the flush trimmer. And then there's a cap screw at the end on either side here that runs up through this bolt assembly and four mil we'll take a four millimeter hex wrench and then we will want to turn that clockwise direction so as we put that in here and we're turning that in the clockwise direction as I'm turning the wrench it looks counterclockwise but actually looking at the bolt from upside down would be in the clockwise direction so by turning this, that's going to raise the tracer wheel up in relationship to the cutting wheel. And by doing that, then the cutting wheel will then trim more of the edge banding tape off the top edge. So once we have our tracer set on the front, then we'll want to come to the back and reset our dial indicators. So you want to break the set screw loose. And then that will allow you to, and then We'll wrench out of there and then that will allow you to go ahead and move our dial indicator accordingly to where it needs to be set and then you'll go ahead and retighten your uh, set screw and you'll be set. So for this example we're going to point out the most extreme case is when the lower cutter head isn't coming into contact or making any cut on the bottom edge of your edge banding tape. You'll want to look right below on this guide rod <clears throat> you want to look right below the lower cutter head and there is a locking collar that holds the assembly in place and if that has moved downward then that would be the culprit and you would want to move this whole assembly up and then reset that locking collar on the slide assembly. So last but not least if your adjustment on your tracer for your top flush cutter it has not made any difference whatsoever, then you can make an adjustment from your upper screw assembly by just releasing this lock nut here on the top and then by adjusting this screw either in a downward direction or in the upward direction in order to move your assembly accordingly.